So the equally likely approach is limited because not everything is equally likely. And so that's where the axiomatic approach comes along. The axiomatic approach bases probability calculations on three Kolmogorov axioms. Now what Kolmogorov tried to do was he tried to come up with a minimal set of axioms on which you could base all of probability theory. And what he said was the set function P of A satisfies three different axioms. And the first is known as non-negativity, the second is additivity of disjoint events, and the third is unit measure. Now to give a little more detail, here is the definition for the Kolmogorov axioms. Consider a random experiment with sample space S and some event A which is a subset of S which is of interest. If P of A is defined and if axiom 1 says that P of A is greater than or equal to 0, that's the non-negativity axiom. Second of all, if the probability of A1 union A2 union dot 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 is the sum of the associated probabilities where A1, A2, etc. are disjoint events. And finally, third is that the probability of any event in the sample space occurring is equal to 1. Then P of A is the probability of event A occurring. It is quite amazing that just those three axioms are enough to build all of probability theory, but on the next few slides, We'll see how that works. This definition will show you how probability is distributed over the various events, for example, A or A1, A2, etc. And that's where you get the term probability distribution.